guy was sleeping up there. He looked like Dave, but he ran down the clock screaming. Blake Meyer was like, hey, buddy, let's go drink a beer in there, huh? I said, man, I don't want to go in that joint. It looks kind of weird in there. I think the animals are in the house. What is this happening? In the North Bronx, there's not supposed to be chickens and roosters. And, uh, well, Dave knows, Dave knows about psychedelic energy. And, uh, me and him have had many discussions about how the doors of perception are open to everyone. And even uh, Jim Morrison said on some of the records, Dave's dad played the records for us. And he said, listen, man. He said, open up that door. And I said, I don't want to open up that door. But Dave's dad said so. So I did it, man. And this is what I saw. See, there was spiders on the wall. Worms on the floor. There was a lever standing by old TV set. And man, it was like even more. Because when I walked down the hallway, I saw a big bear sleeping in the bed. And when I looked around the corner, I saw a big bullfrog in the head. I saw a big bullfrog in the head. A big bullfrog in the head. I saw a big bullfrog, big bullfrog. A big bullfrog in the head. And I said to myself, hey, what's a frog doing sitting on the toilet over there? I mean, it was close, you know? Uh, you know. That makes sense. He's looking, he's sitting on the throne, looking at me as if he's the king of the palace over there. And I'm like, listen, frog, what the hell are you doing in the Bronx, man? You're not supposed to be here. You're from the swamps or some shit. You're supposed to be in New Jersey. And, uh, but he looked at me and said, Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> and I studied. Came very closely. I looked at him and I said, "Hey, what are you doing? What are you trying to tell me over there?" I said, I, "I've been to the zoo. I know that you don't make that ribbit noise." He said, "Ribbit, ribbit." I said, "Look, man, I, I pulled that little toy, the preschool thing, where you pull the cord and it makes the noise." Why are, you, why are you trying to, why are you trying to front, man? Why are you trying to sound like that shit? And he said, this is man. And I was like, yeah, all right. And he said, what are you doing here? <laughs> I said, I was, my sister told me to come over. And uh, he said, really? And I, I was like, come on, man, quit bullshitting me, you know? And he's like, there's wolves in this house, kid. And then, yeah, it's, it's real messy in here. I don't understand. Like, what do you mean? There's rules. It looks like chaos in here. He said, No, there's rules. It's diggy, man. He said, Listen, listen. And I said, Okay. He said, Come in, dog and mouse. Come in, cat and monkey. It may seem unclean. It may seem unresolved and funky. You may still kind of weird. He said, You may have been all wrong, yeah.
trouble. I had to start to rearrange my uh, strategies because uh, the animals were not having me. They were like, eh. and I was like, yeah, yeah, come on, I'm cool, right? They're like, eh. and I was like, come on. I'm like, look at you chickens down there. I'm like, yeah, you're all right with me, right? They're like. I like stop talking about me, chicken. Like I'm, I'm on your side, man. I'm, uh, I'm in the collective existence. You know that's cool. And the chickens were like, I wasn't gonna convince them. So I, I went back to the sheep and I, mean, I told the sheep that I was a socialist. You know, because Dave told me about it. And the sheep were like, hey. they like the idea of socialism. The sheep, they understood there was strength in numbers. And, uh, so then I went to the cow, and I was like, hey, cow, and he said, Rrr. and I said, come on, you took me, right? And he said, Rrr. I said, I ain't in McDonald's for like 25 years, man. And he was like, Rrr. it's something. It counts for something. Well, I thought, shit, man. I thought, shit, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm just going to take all day to get out of here. So I, I hopped up on a chair and I started looking and I saw the light coming through. Coming through the ceiling and it cracked. And a little bit of nature started to hit me, man. And I started to realize, animals, you people are my friends. You animals are my friends. Why? You don't want me to go to school. You don't want me to go to work. Tell me they go buy some diamond ring that costs half a year to pay for because you're not afraid because you're watching the news and somebody told you on the other side of the world there's chicken that ain't listening to the same kind of chicken as you listen to. Well, animals, they start to listen to me just a little bit. They start to say, this guy's all right, I think. They say, he even smells like us a little bit and uh, suddenly I was kind of digging it. amongst themselves, you know, I, I started to hear them disgusting me, you know, and um, sometimes it brings me peace to remember. Do I hear any animals? You know, sometimes I hear the animals, man.